Now at 1030, an arsonist has struck again, setting another car on fire in a normally quiet Atwater Village neighborhood. The owner of the destroyed vehicle says that he has no idea why he was targeted, and now he's had no way to get around. Pedro Rivera is live in Atwater Village, where a neighborhood is on edge tonight. Pedro. Micah, share really is a terrifying situation for several car owners here in the Atwater Village area. While they're sleeping inside at night, someone is outside lighting cars on fire, and now LAFD is investigating. I was woken up very abruptly at about 12.30 by one of my neighbors telling me that our car was on fire. Late Halloween night, Stephen Spath went to the front yard to see this outside his Acre Site Street home in Atwater. His beloved 2008 Volvo C30 engulfed in flames. I had it for about 15 years, you know. I've driven it across country, I've taken it all over the place. So much, so many memories and you know, I wasn't ready to let it go and it kind of sucks that someone else kind of made that choice for me. The flames were so large they began spreading to the trees. Until fire crews got there, Spath grabbed his garden hose to try and keep the flames from getting to the house, knowing his car was a loss. The ground right here uh, in front of the tree, as well as the side of the tree here, got um, you know got uh, caught on fire a little bit. Um, you know, so I was spraying down our yard and everything else that we kind of try to keep it from spreading. Surveillance video from neighbors were not able to capture who started the blaze, but investigators believe someone lit the fire in the back of the car. This is kind of the first occurrence of something of this magnitude. But we have been hearing more and more kind of fire starting in like trash cans and stuff. A week prior on October 24th, a neighbor who lives a few blocks away close to Glendale Boulevard discovered her car was also set on fire overnight. It appears someone may have tried to start the fire by throwing something underneath the car, similar to Spaeth's incident. According to Spaeth, he knows at least five others in the Atwater neighborhood who have had their vehicles or backyards burned in the last month. Right now, there's no suspect description, but Spath hopes whoever has the hot hand is caught soon before things get worse. Maybe they can kind of catch whoever or whomever is doing this. Um, you know, we can avoid maybe a house fire and losing life at this point. Because a car can be replaced, but like life is a little harder. And right now you're taking a look at some of the debris and charred out a uh, uh, sidewalk here that's in front of the home. This is now an L.A. Fire Department investigation into this arson, but LAPD tells KTLA that they do have extra patrols on hand to try to keep this area safe and look out for who that person might be. But as for Steven, I, I did ask him about his car and if he had insurance. He says he does have insurance and he does plan uh, to speak with them, uh, but doesn't expect a big payout. His car was from 2008 and we all know in 2022 it can be kind of hard getting a new car or a used car so he could use the help reach out to him on uh, our website ktla.com we have a gofundme page reporting live in atwater village pedro vera ktla 5 news pedro thank you